Welcome to the next video of me painting a concept board for my next project. And we are really busy at the studio right now working on the new movie and we are working six days a week. So I have just a bit of time to do my stuff, my project and these videos. I got a really nice batch of questions from you last time so I will try to answer them as good as I can but I will have to probably split them uh, between videos so if I don't answer your stuff just wait for the next video. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name but the first question I want to answer is from Guilherme Quer, I think and he asks if it's okay to use Sakura brand watercolors. I haven't used this kind of brand, but from what I can see on the internet, there are kind of this entry level uh, set with the water brush from like what I can see. I haven't used this brand, so I will tell you what I think generally about buying watercolors. Um, I would say that it's really better to use even a few of good brand artist quality watercolors than like a cheap set because basically mm, the good watercolors are uh, have better pigments have brighter better colors they mix together better and also have good light fastness so if you put your um, pictures uh, on a wall somewhere they won't fade so fast i think it's it's better to buy even like three, four tubes or, or pans uh, with really high quality artist quality watercolors than use a cheap set. It's really better. Okay, the next question is from VTC about uh, buckling paper. For sketches like I do in this video, I just use watercolor pads that are not so expensive and the paper is okay. You can always tape them to the board which also helps a little bit but if you use a lot of water and a lot of washes uh, I really recommend to stretch your paper you can find a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to do that or uh, you can buy uh, pre-stretched like blocks of watercolor paper uh, that are glued on four sides so you paint without taking the paper from the block and paper is really nice quality usually and it's really useful and when I do more complicated bigger illustrations with better quality when washes and I do clouds or stuff like that that requires a lot of water I usually use this kind of paper okay here you can see the finished concept art and I will try to answer more questions in the next videos. I have them all memorized in a nice file, so yeah, stay tuned. There are more videos like this on my website and on my channel, so uh, subscribe. Bye.